I was extremely excited to purchase these used big brake kit off of BMW 135i from 2007 to 2013 and install them onto my E46 330xi. I am going to show you everything step by step throughout this video, but first let me point out a few of the major issues I've ran into that made me want to throw everything away and scrap this entire conversion project. These calipers have ceramic pistons, but during high heat stress, especially on the track, they will crack into pieces and rubber seals will melt, which will lead to brake fluid leaking and brake failure. They do have restoration kit to swap out all of the pistons and new rubber seals, which will be ready for track. So keep that in mind if you're planning on doing the conversion. And luckily for me, the used calipers I purchased, they were in great condition and I'm not planning on tracking my car. So I will install them as is and monitor them accordingly. This is the part where I wanted to throw everything away and scrap the entire project. When I tried to take off the bleeding screws, they broke off inside on both front calipers. So I've managed to drill a bigger hole, re-tap the threads, and I went on with these brass couplers for better heat and rust resistance. Now I'm going to go over everything you need for this conversion project. Custom brackets from Seams Legit Garage along with front and rear brake lines. And you will need to order rear E46 M3 rotors and I've went with ceramic brake pads from Brembo, also brake cleaner, brake fluid, and pressure bleeder to finish the job properly. And all of these parts will be linked in the description box below. All right, let the fun begin. First, I'm going to take the wheels off. Remove the brake reservoir cap and I'm going to bleed all the brake lines starting from rear passenger side, rear driver side, front passenger side, and front driver side. Swapping out the front side first, remove brake disc set screw, which is 6mm hex bolt. Turn the steering wheel for easier access to 16mm caliper bolts. Carefully remove the brake sensor cable. This will be used with the new brakes. Now I'm removing the brake cable line to get the caliper completely free. Hit it with the penetration fluid to get the rust off and remove the cable. Gently hammer the rotor with the rubber mallet to get it off from the hub. Clean the hub so that the next rotor can come off easily. Hitting it with a little bit of any C's. Install the new rotor and hand tighten the disc set screw. Alright, once the rotor is installed, I'm going to install the bracket first from Seams Legit Garage. And for you to put it on, 
have this flat side and the dimples coming out towards the inner side of the car and it goes in the inside of the bracket right in between the rotor and the new two bolts they gave us Install the new brake clip and new brake pads onto the big brake caliper. All right, the front side is done. Let's move on to the rear. I had to remove the brake line first in order for me to get to the caliper bolts for the rear.
removing the rear caliper and getting to the disc set screw. Same thing for the rear caliper, installing new brake pads and clips. I did have to get pin puncher in order for me to remove the pins that hold the brake pads. All right, now I'm ready to install it onto the rotor. Since the E46 M3 rotors do not match up with the disc set screw hole, so I'm just holding it with my lug nut and then order for me to install my caliper. As for the brake line, I ended up using the front big brake caliper brake line because it was too short from Seam's Legit Garage. Finishing the job with the rear brake sensor. Alright, this is the end result of the caliper installation and let's go ahead and fill up with brake fluid. 
Filling up is the same exact procedure as bleeding. So starting with rear right passenger side, and then rear driver's side, front passenger side, and front driver's side. And you are done for the day. Finally, as for wheel fitment, I've got BBS SR wheels, 17 by 7.5 and 35 millimeter offset, and they fit perfectly without spacers. I hope this video was helpful for deciding whether you want to do this conversion or not. Thank you guys for watching.